They say that in the restaurant business, location is everything. But La Volata Pizzeria, located in the Ford Business Plaza, just off of Ford Street and the 10 Freeway in Redlands, has defied this notion and is one popular eating and drinking establishment. A large wood-burning pizza oven is the centerpiece of this trendy-looking dining room, while the nice outdoor patio is the perfect setting for a relaxing alfresco dining experience. Owners Lori and Chris Driscoll invite you to enjoy some delicious food and a glass of wine. Well, our first eating <laughs> assignment right here in Redlands. And uh, now you were mentioning before that um, everything here is made fresh and also they use all locally grown um, ingredients as much as possible. Yeah, I love that. I love that they do a lot of farm to table and they really support the local community. So when you're coming here, you're getting value. You're getting locally sourced, fresh, fresh produce. Speaking of love, let's get right into yes. the menu. So. The first item we had was the Three Sisters Spring Salad, $11. This was just a beautiful, it, they use seasonal greens, whatever's in season. Today we had some arugula and some mixed greens. It was really beautiful. Carrots, radishes, some shaved fennel. It has a Dijon vinaigrette edible flowers, and then this uh, gorgonzola picante, which I didn't know is a type of gorgonzola. It's just a very, it's supposed to be a, a stronger, sharper flavor gorgonzola. This salad is just lovely. I loved it. The fennel added that nice sweet flavor profile there. I love the gorgonzola because it was salty and sweet. It's just a very light, flavorful salad. You know I love salads, and I'm very particular. I always want to tweak them whenever I go somewhere. Like picky. I would, yeah, I'm very picky. picky about salads. I would order this over and over and eat it. It's just light and, and fresh and just delicious. It was really interesting is when he was reading off the, the ingredients, there were greens I never heard of. I actually felt like a vegan. Oops, I mean like a sheep. Can I say that? Uh, no, no offense, guys, but I felt like, wow, this is really healthy. This is back to nature felt yeah. type of eating. Beautiful. But uh, really, really nice effort. Next, the gazpacho with halibut, $8. This was tomatoes, almonds, sourdough bread, garlic, cucumbers, red onions, dry sherry, sherry vinegar, olive oil, and it was all pureed in a blender with cubes of fresh halibut on top of it. What an interesting um, combination of yeah. things. Now, when you think of gazpacho, it's traditional tomato, and it's kind right. of runnery. It's more like it's a, a, it's a, soup. a soup, cold yeah. soup. This was cold, and but what made this different was it was a little chunkier than most, yeah. but absolutely delicious. I have stunning here. I love the flavor. They really just jumped out on you. Very, very nice to have on a hot day. Yeah. It's fantastic, but just the flavors and the fresh halibut, I mean, you can't get you know, anything better. Small little chunks of it, so you get the best of both worlds. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, I was I was shocked that I liked it as much as I did, and the crusty bread, their bread is so delicious, and you just dip it in there, and it, do, it has a thicker texture, but it really, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. And I did write in here, it had great garlic flavor. I'm surprised you didn't bring that out because you love oh, garlic, yeah. but it had a really nice garlic. Yeah, not too garlicky, but just a really beautiful Dracula flavor. Dracula will not come near you, I promise. <laughs> There's a lot of garlic here. Next was a red snapper crudel. This is $15. This is another nice appetizer. This is slices of red snapper, sliced real thin, drizzled with olive oil, salt, and lemon, with a slice of, it's called a red Fresno chili, and some, uh, it almost looked like an Italian sashimi. That's what it reminded me of. And it has yeah. some, I believe, shaved fennel in the middle. And what a nice little, very simple, it's a nice little dish to, um, to share. A little glass yeah. of wine would go perfect with it. And it's a nice starter. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't fancy, but it was just really good quality fish and just a nice, you know, a lot of flavors. Well, I think it's fancy because it was plated so elegantly. It was very simple, but the flavors were beautiful. And I think it, when you plate something so simply, um, the flavors shine through. You know, right. the dish, the flavors were so good that it doesn't need anything like wow on it. It was just great. I That's really it. liked it. I like things that wow me, but this this is a different wow. This is a uh, understated wow. Yeah, understated wow, wow. And it would. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we had something that was really, really, I think one of their signature uh, pizzas here. Mm. It's called the Redland Citrus Pizza, $15. This is a 12 inch wood fire burned, delicious, pizza. Now, this is just so unique. They use seasonal, we're lucky here in Redlands, we get seasonal citrus, so they use whatever's in season. Lemons and oranges, and they slice them very thin with some olive oil, some ricotta, and um, it's just, it's such a delicious, light, 
flavor, and I, my notes are wrote sweet and tangy, and the arugula on the top, and they dress it with a little uh, EVOO, and I think there's some reduction. There's toasted an orange, almonds. Toasted almonds and a reduction on it. And you know, it's like, is it a pizza? Is it salad? It's kind of the both, in a way, huh? and it's just, it's very fresh, it's very light, it's the perfect summer pizza. It's like marmalade meets pizza meets salad, it's it's delicious. Now this did have blood orange, you were lucky enough to get Today, that in the season. Yeah. But they also have a uh, Valencia, Valencia orange oranges. reduction. Mm -hmm. So the whole piece just really came together. I love citrus. I do too. I like orange peel and I do all, too. all that good stuff. This was delicious. I've never had it in, in a pizza form. And one thing I want to tell everybody that when you have wood-fired pizza, if you see black, it's not burnt, it's called char. Yes. And wood-fired pizzas in ovens, that's what it's made for. It only takes like two, three minutes, they keep turning it, but the whole thing is you gotta get that char flavor. So don't be scared, that's what you want. Yeah. And my suggestion is if it doesn't come out char, bring it back and get a char, because you really want to get that char flavor. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I think the combination of the, the thin and the crust is so thin and crispy, which I like. I know a lot of people, were, we're tired of that thick, kind of doughy crust. Yeah, that's very different. And it's so nice here that everything's such a thin and the flavors can really shine. And, and if you're looking for, you know, little Caesar style pizza, <laughs> that's not what you're going to get no. here. They have very complex flavors and the toppings really shine. And that's what I like about well, it. Speaking of complex, the pistachio oh, pizza. Yes. Oh my, $17. And you get, we had it with sausages, like homemade sausages, $4 more. This is a 12 inch, uh, they're all 12 inch pizzas. It's with a ricotta uh, pistachio, lemon parsley sauce, it was spread around the pizza, topped with taliego, 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 cheese, um, and it, it comes topped with olive oil, and uh, the pistachio, really a little crunch to it, and a little nutty flavor. Yeah. Absolutely delicious pizza, and, and you gotta get it with the sausage. Oh, sausage for sure. Sausage makes a big difference. Again, this isn't your regular pizza sausage, it's just it's made on the premises has a little fennel in it, really delicious. Yeah, again, the the pistachios and the ricotta and everything together makes a, like a pesto. And it's it's creamy and it's nutty and it's, it's just, it, it really is the perfect topping. I mean, this pizza yep. was just wow. So the next one I thought was one of my favorites. Chris's breakfast pizza, $18, oh my. This is crushed tomatoes with mozzarella cheese, homemade sausage sprinkled on top. It was baked, then it's topped with a fried egg and a sriracha drizzle unbelievable delicious day i mean they say a breakfast pizza but i have this at night i'll oh, have this anytime sure. during the day yeah absolutely delicious combination i agree it has a nice afterburn and the egg yolk you know kind of mellows out any uh extra heat and they say sriracha helps fuel your metabolism and helps us lose weight so i think we got skinnier by eating that pizza what do you yeah. think <laughs> Great flavors. No, really. I mean, the egg on it, it is creamy, and the sriracha is spicy. Yeah, it's just a really, it's an unexpected. But again, that char, crisp dough. Delicious. That's, that's the what dough. makes it special. So, Absolutely. So incredible. I would agree. Okay. Well, this dish, <laughs> vegetable fettuccine, $14. You know, they hand make this pasta here, and it, it is just the, the absolute, it's perfection. They do roasted carrots and radishes, and then they make a salsa verde with the tops of the, of the radishes. And they add garlic, a little lemon, olive oil. Um, then they add some English peas, um, chervil and basil, and then ricotta, and they toss it. Very simple, but not so simple. It's earthy flavors really come through because of the, the, the carrot and the radish tops. The roasted vegetables, I, I mean, I just, I took a bite of it and it was like fresh and earthy at the same time, creamy, the pasta is perfectly cooked. I mean, it was so simple, but the flavors were very bright. I agree, but you know, pasta could be real heavy. This was like the lightest pasta. I don't know why, yeah. but it was like the lightest pasta I've ever had. I agree. I, I, maybe because there's not many calories in it, do you think? I'm thinking so. <laughs> and you know, it's funny, like after eating how many pizzas today and a pasta and everything we've had so far, normally at an Italian restaurant, you would feel like, oh, I don't feel like that here. Everything no. is very light and flavorful and it doesn't, you don't walk away feeling like, ugh. I think the fresh ingredients and just the extra little at attention they give to the details. It's very healthy. Yeah, I mean, it well, really is. It's just, it's a very healthy style Italian food. Now they also have a big selection of wines and beers. I think of 10 beers on draft and this is a great place to just come relax. Oh yeah, and, and these have, bar stools. And have not only pizza, but dessert. Yes, okay, oh. well, we had a semi-fredo <laughs> dessert. Um, again, made with local, Chocolate from a chocolatier in town. Parliament. Yep, and they did a, a, a semi-fredo with it, and then they had a salted whipped cream that was just, it was ever so salty, which was nice. It had vanilla bean in it. Then they took the cocoa and made a praline, like a caramel out of it, 
and then it had the uh, fried Marcona almonds, which are almonds from Spain, and they're fatter and a little meatier, mealier, Don't and look sweet. look at me and say fatter. Jeez. <laughs> they're a little rounder. It's okay, better. You know, that adds such a nice crunch and such a nice flavor. You know, you get that kind of roasted flavor from them. You know, it was very well balanced. It was sweet, and, it and the chocolate is very, it was, it was almost very bitter. Very rich. It was very rich, very, almost bittersweet, yeah. you know, in a way. Um, the cream add that saltiness to it. It was just a very nice balanced dessert, it's like not too sweet. It's like a frozen mousse. It's, yeah. not, it's not like ice cream. It wasn't creamy like ice cream, but it's like a frozen mousse, but absolutely delicious. It was velvety and decadent and not too sweet, which is a nice way to finish, you know, after eating this kind of food. That with a cup of coffee. Yeah, <sighs> so just a really nice finish to a really great meal. Mm -hmm. well, Extra big meal. Well, speaking <laughs> of great, what were some of your favorite dishes? I have a star next to the Three Sisters salad. You know, I love salads and that one just, I, I will be back for that pistachio pizza. That is just such a unique flavor balance. I mean, you hear pistachio and you're thinking there's going to be nuts on that. And gosh, uh, I'm going to say the <laughs> vegetable fettuccine just because, again, for pasta, it's such a light and beautiful dish. Mm, we differ a little bit. Okay. I say the red and citrus pizza. I wanted to do that I one. love the citrus flavor, the orange, the, the lemon. It goes well with the sausage with all that good stuff on it. Uh, the pistachio pizza I have. Mm -hmm. And I have Chris's pizza, so it's a trifecta with pizzas. Yeah. I love that breakfast pizza. This sure beats Denny's. I'll come here for breakfast any day. <laughs>